Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you some pictures and video clips about my hiking trip in Abisko National Park. If you like the video, please click like and subscribe my channel. Welcome to Abisko. Abisko National Park is easily accessible as it's located near a railway with the King's Trail running straight through it. According to the brochure that I've got here, the average annual precipitation in Abisko is among the lowest in Sweden. This is because moist air from the Atlantic drops its rain on the west side of Nula Mountain and the national park on the east side ends up in the rain shadow. It's just so nice to do hiking and have our meal and afternoon tea while enjoying the beautiful view here in the national park. Abisko National Park is a cultural landscape where people have long been herding reindeer. There are more and more visitors began to discover Abisko after the railway was built around the year 1900. For centuries, the Sami people have been using the area around Torna Tresk. Ancient trapping pits bear witness to the hunting of wild reindeer. Today, the foraging grounds are used to feed domesticated reindeer belonging to Gabna Sami community. It is important that visitors use their judgment and do not disturb the foraging reindeer. Abisko is very popular for its flora and here you can find most mountain plants. Abisko has a long tradition of mountain tourism. There are many hikers who come here to experience the mountains. This is the first time that my husband and I do hiking in Abisko National Park. We love it. Some parts of the track can be a little bit challenging because there are some rocks. It's also a little bit hilly, but it feels good to do the hiking. Being in the nature is good for you. Being in the nature is good for the body and soul. According to the Abisko National Park brochure, the national park area is 77 square kilometers. It was inaugurated in 1909. The closest community is Kiruna, about 100 kilometers. The county is Norbotten and the province is Lapland.
The national park is a part of the EU network Natura 2000. The nature types are mountain moor, mountain birch forest, meadow, wetland, lakes, and streams. Approximately a third of the national park is bare mountain. Here's the climbing part. Almost there. My husband is always waiting for me patiently. All right, it's time to continue. We have found a beautiful lake. Let's go there and find out. Wow! The water is so clear. It's beautiful. Let's continue our journey. Let's walk, walk, walk. Do you have any questions? If you do, please leave a comment below. I hope that you enjoy my video. Happy hiking! And remember, being in the nature is good for your body and soul.